Hello and welcome to thejonas.net. My name is Donald Jonas. This is my second tutorial in my three-part video tutorial series in setting up Samba 4 as an Active Directory Domain Controller with DNS and DHCP. In the first tutorial, we had set up the server as an Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit edition LTS server, and we set up the host name of the server. We've been following along on thejonas.net, my website. I have the tutorial set up there, and we're going to continue on now. In this tutorial, we're going to set up the DNS and DHCP. The host name has already been set up, as I mentioned. And we're going to set up our search domain. I'm just going to call it abc.lan. And we're going to set a DNS record for your, the domain realm, which will be my DC, keeping it different than the search domain. This is the name that will be used to join PCs to the domain. So let's continue on. Next, let's go to the Etsy host file. And we're just going to add the search domain to the local host. And we'll put our static IP address in here. We'll be static in the IP here in a few moments right after this. And we'll go ahead and put in the uh, search domain. Okay. The static IP is right here. It's going to be under the Etsy network interfaces. We're already in the Etsy, the ETC network interfaces. Let's remove the DHCP and put in static. And put an address. Netmask. Network Broadcast Gateway DNS Name Servers. I'm just going to use the Google Public DNS of 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. This is a temporary entry. Uh, at the end of this tutorial, we'll change it to uh, localhost of 127.0.0.1. That way it'll resolve itself and then go out to the internet through the forwarders. Um, if you don't want to use Google DNS, you can use OpenDNS or your ISP provides you with a DNS server IP or a DNS uh, IP address. You can use that. Let's go ahead and put in the DNS search. We'll go ahead and save this. We'll go ahead. Before I reboot the server, this is in the tutorial. I just thought I'd mention it. Um, the ability to SSH in as root is not enabled in these newer versions of the Ubuntu server. We will be doing a lot of SSH into these uh, to the server we're setting up here. Um, you can SSH in as a local user and use the sudo command or elevate yourself to root. I like to be able to SSH in as root, so I'm just going to go into the SSH and then the SSHD config. I'm going to turn on the uh, line numbers, and I believe it's number 28. I'm just going to go ahead and change this to yes, so I can SSH in as a root. Go ahead and we'll save that. And we'll do a reboot of the server here. Okay, the server is back up. Let's go ahead and SSH into the server. Accept the key. Go ahead and log in. I'm going to run a quick apt git update. Make sure it's checking in with the repositories. Then we're going to run an app get disk upgrade. This will upgrade uh, the current software packages to the latest versions. Paste that in there and this is going to take a few minutes to run. Why for yes? I'm going to pause the uh, recording of this tutorial while this takes place and I'll be right back when it's finished. The upgrade is finished. Let's go ahead and reboot the server. Alright, go ahead and log into the server. And we can 
SSH back in. Up arrow key. Okay, now we need to go ahead and install the DHCP in DNS, which is a bind version 9, or bind 9. And Y for yes, go ahead and accept that. We're going to change directory into the Etsy bind. Okay, we're going to use nano, the command line text editor, to uh, edit the name.config.options file. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. I put all the changes in bold. So here we're going to go ahead and just move this down a couple spaces and just paste it in. And under the forwarders, which is the next section, we're going to uncomment the forwarders. We need to put in a public IP address for public DNS. I'm going to go ahead and put Google uh, DNS back in. And if you want to put a second one in, you can go ahead and enter it there. Just uh, remember to put the uh, semicolon in. It's a good idea on a production server to have two uh, DNS entries there. Once again, you don't have to use Google DNS. You can use uh, whatever you'd like. And at the very bottom here, we're going to highlight that and just remove all of this and just paste it in. And then in nano, to save this, you just hold down the control, and then the O is to commit, enter to write, control, and then X to get out. Pretty simple. R and DC key. This is very important. This, re this is revolving around security. This is the key that uh, passes the information between the DNS and DHCP. An initial key is created during the installation process, and that is right here under the Etsy bind. R and DC key. There is the key. It's a good idea to change this key from time to time. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to close out of this. I have the command right here. And we can take a quick look at the key again and see that it has changed. It's a good idea to do that from time to time just to just for security reasons. Go ahead and apply some permissions to that key. Uh, adding DNS zones, we're going to use nano again to edit the uh, name config dot local. Name dot config dot local. I put everything in bold again that we need to change. So just move past the comments here and make a little room. Just go ahead and paste. Uh, zone abc uh, dot lan. The file is going to exist in the uh, var lib bind. The zone is not created yet. We'll do that next. Uh, same thing for the reverse zone. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now we're going to go ahead and create the zone. So if the file doesn't exist, it's going to be empty when we open it. I've already set up a pretty basic configuration for the zone. Um, I set up two A records, one for a router, a one for the server itself. I'm going to call this server NS. I need multiple entries for this server. I can only do one A record, so I have to set the rest up as C names or aliases. So NS is also going to be known as DCSRV, which is the name of the server. And I mentioned earlier uh, for the domain realm, MyDC. They're both referencing NS, which is this IP address. Let's go ahead and save this, and we're going to create one for the reverse DNS. Let's do a quick copy and paste. Uh, PTR records pointing to its corresponding uh, zone, the uh, A record and the C name. So we'll go ahead and save that. Quick reference point. Um, in this zone right here, this first one we created, I thought I should just bring this up real quick. If you want to check your DNS entries as the IP addresses are given out in your registered DNS, they'll show up in here. You can view them in here. 
or if you load the admin pack, which we're going to do in our last tutorial, the third tutorial on a Windows PC, you can view the DNS in there, or you can just go ahead and install like a webmin on your server and manage your DNS that way. Go ahead and get out of that. I just thought I'd mention that. Reverse DNS is set up, so now we need to go ahead and just apply some permissions. And it's also the same for the reverse DNS. You'll see the entries populate into that file. Let's go ahead and restart the bind9 service. Excellent. DHCP. The DHCP part is pretty simple. Um, let's just go back to the GUI, the graphical user interface. Now let's go to the uh, Etsy bind, I'm sorry, the Etsy DHCP and the DHCP dconfig. Let's do a control A backspace and just remove everything and just go ahead and save it, make it an empty file basically. And use nano to open the same file up in command line. There's nothing in there. All the changes I made are, are, are bold in here. Uh, we're just going to copy everything though and go ahead and paste it in. Let's do a quick recap. Uh, apc.lan, here's the zone, uh, the RNDC key resides in the same server, it has the local host IP address, same thing with the reverse, the subnet, the net mask, the range. With this subnet uh, mask we can do up to 255 addresses. I'm just going to give out 100, between 100 and 200. Um, you can do between 50 and 255, however you want to do it, or it's up to you. I like to leave a certain range, start at a certain point, and the ones below that, since they're not in the DHCP range, they can be saved as static IPs, like, you know, for copiers, printers, IP cameras, other servers, maybe static PCs. Um, just thought I'd mention that. Um, the subnet mask that will be given to the PCs is right here. Uh, this will be the DNS server that is given out to the devices that receive IP addresses and the search domain. That's it. Let's go ahead and save that. Gonna go ahead and link a file here and set some permissions. There's one troubleshooting tip I wanted to mention real quick here. When you patch uh, security-wise the DNS and DHCP or upgrade, whatever the case is, uh, this happened to me where it stopped working. It didn't necessarily break. What happened was uh, when I got the security patch update, it changed the permissions on these files back to root root. It's, I had to put them back as root bind. So if that happens to you, you can just go back to the different areas where we've changed the permissions and you go ahead and set them back. I just thought I'd mention that as an easy uh, troubleshooting tip. All right, let's go back to the uh, the GUI here and the Etsy network interfaces. We're going to change this back, like I mentioned earlier, to 127.0.0. I change it back, but change it to, I guess, would be more appropriate. That way it resolves itself. Let's go ahead and do a reboot. Okay, server is back up. Let's SSH back into the server. Let's go ahead and verify we can successfully restart the uh, DNS, the bind9 service. Okay. And go ahead and restart the uh, DHCP service. Okay, both working normally. I have in a Windows 7 set up here verify that it can pick up the IP addresses. I have no other DNS or DHCP running on the small network I'm working with for this tutorial. Uh, my host PC or the one I'm doing the tutorial list is Mint 17.1 and I have it set up as a static IP. So the only thing running is what we set up. Let's go ahead and log in. We go to start run, go to CMD, and do an IP config. Okay, uh, abc.lan, good. See if we can ping uh, some of these A records. 
router 01. Okay, it is responding. Excellent. Uh, we can do NS. NS. Excellent. Uh, let's see if we can ping um, the C name. Okay, that's working. And um, let's do my DC, which is our future domain realm we're going to do in the next tutorial. Good. And let's see if we can get out to the internet. That's always important. Okay, looks like the DNS and DHCP is uh, functioning normally. Uh, it's giving out IP addresses and registering them in DNS. That, that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Um, the next tutorial is going to be on setting up Samba before as an Active Directory domain controller on top of this. Um, I hope you watch that tutorial. And once again, thank you for visiting Jonas.net and have a nice day.